Hey guys, it's Waylon from CanadaCigarFarm.com. I haven't done a re video review for a while, so I figure why not. Uh, I got an Ashton Heritage Puro Soul on the go here. There she is. Draws a little tight. It's weird because I've stored this cigar at 65 max RH in it. It feels like I'm smoking something that's over humidified, so I don't understand why that would be the case, but. Um, pretty, pretty, tastes pretty good so far. I think this was rated fairly high um, by Cigar Aficionado last year on their overall list for the year. I'll have to double check on that, but um, I think that's why I picked it up in the first place. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, I'm back. I had to clip a little bit more off the end of this thing. Um, the draw is better now. It was, it was, the draw was fine to start and then it just plugged and then I, I had to cut some more off. So now she's going nicely. Um, getting a little bit of spice. And... Sorry, there's a lot of distractions here. <laughs> Sunny day in Vancouver. Um, a lot of leather and uh, some definite spice in the in the palette right now. All right, I'm back. I switched to this nifty um, app called 8mm. I'm sure I look even cooler now. <laughs> anyway, this thing's, uh, this thing's burning nicely now. Maybe a little bit too well now, actually. It's like, it's a really fast burn. Not bad. Um, a little bit of nuttiness coming in now. A little bit of more earth. Uh, the spice is kind of gone from the uh, beginning. Uh, pretty enjoyable overall. I run them back. Um, getting fairly close to the end here. Um, a little bit of mintiness coming in now. Um, not not in love with with where this cigar is heading now. It's um, a lot more sort of barnyard going on, which mm, it's not that great to be honest. Uh, started out better than than where we're at now. Um, not not a terrible cigar, and I think it was fairly inexpensive. I'll uh, I'll do a little write up along with this thing. Um, all right, guys, I'm just going to wrap this up. Uh, as you can see, I'm pretty much to the end. I think I'm just going to put it out anyways because it's it's honestly not that great at this point. I would say the first half was was uh, was actually pretty enjoyable. The last half, uh, not so much. So overall, um, I can't really recommend it. Uh, I'm not going to run out and buy more, but you know, uh, I think I have a couple more. I'll just let them rest a while. Anyways, uh, check out CanadaCigarForum.com, and uh, I'll see you guys again soon.